Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The blood of Jesus is not just sufficient. To pay for sin it is more than sufficient are we together now and then instead of speaking judgment to us it now speaks mercy and the blood of Jesus is the basis for the ministry of mercy how do you apply the blood listen very carefully when Satan who is the accuser of the brethren now comes as his culture is to accuse you of anything and then to make demands that on legal basis what was agreed by covenants of fathers and witchcraft should happen to you when you invoke the blood what happens is you disappear in the spirit from that scene and Jesus is the one who stands there now when Jesus stands there Satan says it's not you I'm talking to this is the person I'm talking to but he now says the person has invited me i gave him authorization to invite me what then is your accusation against me and he remembers that there is no accusation that he could bring before jesus remember when jesus stood before pontius pilate it was an adumbration of man they tried to bring accusations but nothing could stand listen believers if you do not understand the power of the blood there cannot be redemption Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7 as we prepare to take the communion and pray the Bible says we have redemption Ephesians 1 7 we have redemption I told you what it means to redeem to redeem means to buy back to reclaim ownership and that happened through his blood even the forgiveness of sins according to the riches the wealth of his grace so I can stand before that demon spirit and say it is true that based on the ordinances of the fathers I deserve to live a defeated life but I'm standing here it is by the blood and the moment I invoke the blood the case is not about me again the case is about Jesus and the moment Jesus shows up there is absolutely no accusation as simple as what I'm saying is satan dreads your knowledge of this do you know why because you will be learning that the blood does not speak empty there is a system of compliance to what the blood says when the blood says you are not guilty it does not stop there there is a system that galvanizes all the forces in heaven to make sure that what the blood has said concerning you remains true over your life the blood of Jesus is powerful this is what I found when I found this I ran and I stood I say you may have legal access I don't even know who my forefathers are I don't know what they worshipped I only had they worship idols they worshipped all kinds of things but now I have come and I come by the blood I come by the blood I come by the blood when Satan looks for me he does not find me but he will find Jesus there and Jesus will ask him what are you looking for and he says I'm looking for a young man connected to a lineage that should authorize failure and he says he's no more here that person died didn't you see him I have been crucified with Christ listen can I tell you this the blood is proof that Jesus died is that true and when he died it was the appeasal because remember the last enemy to be destroyed is death that means ultimately Satan wants to get that dominion but his primary assignment is after getting every other thing he kills you the blood proves that Jesus died but the blood proves that you died too do you know what that means when Satan comes to accuse you and you bring the blood that means the blood says this case has been judged already why are you revisiting a case that has been judged the criminal who offended you has actually died 
but it's just that you are not the one who died the person who died gave you the blood as evidence to say the price has been paid listen if you owe somebody and the person says you owe me one million and i carry my one million and give you and you give the person did you pay for it yes it may not be your money but as far as payment is done if the person comes to accuse you and says it is not your money i know you don't have money it is my responsibility to now defend you who gave you the money is not the issue payment was made this is the receipt so the blood is proof that somebody died and hear me hear me every time you see death and blood it proves that it was not a normal blood a normal death he was killed people in intelligence come and when they investigate and they see dead body the moment they see blood is most likely murder someone killed him a normal death will not easily bring blood out the blood of jesus is not just proof that he died it's proof he was killed the question is who killed him whoever killed him is the person who killed me too and so there is a serious case of accusation here i have been crucified with christ when he died I died when that price was paid in him and through his blood this entire price was paid now Satan does not have any legitimate ground look this thing is so simple but it can keep you in bondage forever I need no other arguments I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died And that he died for me One more time I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Please lift up your communion. If you don't have one, please just wave it. Wave your hand and the ushers will reach you. If there's anyone who does not have a communion like this, all those who are following from their homes, you can get a communion set, anything at all, bread, wafers, whatever it is. We want to invoke this mystery of the blood very quickly and then I pray liberty in this kingdom is through the blood a compensation for our defaults to regain possession of us we are now his property John chapter 6 while standing everyone please very quickly John 6 from verse 48 I'll read two scriptures and we'll take the communion. I'll speak over our lives and then we are done. But not done with your testimonies. It will just be beginning. I am the bread of life. Next verse. It says, your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die reading to 58 i am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh which i will give for the life of the world the jews therefore strove among themselves saying how can this man give us his flesh to eat then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, Listen, And drink his blood, Ye have no life. Except you eat his flesh, And drink his blood, You have no life. Are we together? Whoso eateth my flesh, And drinketh my blood, Had eternal life, And I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 46. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. 
this in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration is the mystery by which two people come into one is the same mystery that happens in marriage when you say two have become one that by the mystery of the communion it reenacts your oneness that anything that is not in Christ should not be found in you it enforces that oneness 57 as the living father had sent me and I live by the father so he that eateth me shall live by me 58 this is the bread which came down from heaven not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead he that eateth of this bread shall live forever one more scripture first corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 first corinthians 11 23 for i have received of the lord he said paul is speaking now which i also delivered unto you that the lord jesus christ the same night which he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you he says do this not when you are hungry do this not when you think you need food do this with a consciousness that you are not only remembering me you are remembering that sacrifice that i died for you i paid that price for you 25 he says and after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me verse 26 for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you do show that you have respect for the lord's death you invoke through this mystery the reality of the power that was released in his death and by that blood listen many people take communion in church just because they grew up knowing that it's a sacrament to be honored this you see right now is just an ordinary drink that was made by a professional caterer this wafers here was made by someone else this does not have any power on its own everything christ paid for everything the blood of jesus has released me from i declare that he who the son sets free is free indeed and you begin to speak and release yourself and we pray are you ready for that lift it up please everyone father you gave us this as a practice of faith that as often as we take this with understanding we do this discerning your body father this is ordinary wafers and this is an ordinary drink but i pray in the name of jesus christ that the spirit of grace will rest upon this Amen. by reason of this communion oh god i pray that yokes and curses and covenants that have tied people down and will not let them rise sabotaging their liberty in the spirit I pray that as they take this, let an end come to it now. All the ordinances of the fathers, in the name of Jesus, this is the blood that speaketh better things. We have been redeemed by the blood. We take this with understanding that this now is no longer an earthly substance, that this is a representation of the blood of Jesus and the bread, which is Jesus himself. And I decree and declare in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that we take this with understanding and let it begin to produce great miracles in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Now I'll give you five minutes. Please just open gently. When you take it, just begin to pray. You don't have to throw it, please. Be patient. Ushers, as soon as they take it, just begin to pass the bucket so that they can put it and then you begin to blast in tongues. In Jesus' name.
by your name establish authority Jesus begin to pray something is happening here now Jesus, the begin to pray something is happening right now Just help those under the anointing. My God, something is happening here. And end is coming right now. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broke. Break now. Holy Spirit. Heaven open, atmosphere now. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority Redeemed by the blood. Shabakatos kata branta kaparukata. Ebrakatos kati lakatos. You have no legal hold over my life. You have no legal hold. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. Be patient, we're almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A pizza has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto frende kete. Ekra kata barakatos koto frende kete lekatosia. Embra kapa katos koto prekete lekete bariakata. Shane kete shalakatos koto frende kete balakata.
Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood. By the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God. Relationships by the Spirit of God. Resources by the Spirit of God. Mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen, your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster, the spirit of untimely death, the spirit of infirmity I challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the Lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. Ke baraka tosh koto brende ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubre here. Makabranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu kaptash, nakapranda kaparekash, e protos koto prendi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto prende gebale gebia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns 
and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now open your mouth and pray patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your elder brother now it's happening to you patterns caused it by the God of heaven negative cycles every two two years someone must die every six six months someone must die caused it by the God of heaven patterns they don't stay in marriage patterns they don't give birth to children caused it by the God of heaven Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. hallelujah hallelujah praise God now you have prayed let me do the praying for you I want you to be sensitive we have a few minutes there is a heavy anointing here listen I'm going to as I mentioned that case the moment you are part of it the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end are we together now we have just about two three minutes when that happens i want you to bring the people out very quickly ushers we have to work together right now i declare anyone here who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus causes be broken now causes please help them whether you are an usher or not help them for sake of time causes every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you i curse you by the god of heaven Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone. 
every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika te parakatos, eprekatos kotu se neke te parakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit, you are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or knowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on apakatoskata i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal a handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to destroy i'm praying again whatever left you knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship. All of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with master's PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing 
I pray for you now. May death leave you alone. We are wrapping up. Hear me. If you are a firstborn here, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The cause that tries to follow firstborns, the ones who open the womb, they are the ones who become the, the chief victims. I pray for you here. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward, I command it right now. At the count of three, may fire come upon that altar. One, two, three. Take that fire now. Take that fire now. The cause of firstborns, I curse you right now. The cause of firstborns, I curse you right now. Hear me? If you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family, you are the first to be lifted to that level. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were, in Jesus' name, may that altar be destroyed now. Help them, please. May that altar be destroyed now. Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of Jesus, this moment, by the power of the name, the blood and the word, I declare a release now. I announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of Jesus Christ. Final prayer. Please place your hand on your head prophetically. Your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this i stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and i pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory i want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now I make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of Jesus we've overshot our time lift whatever communion if you came with any extra communion set for me to speak over we'll finish the balance of this next week during the miracle service but please lift whatever if you brought anything as a point of contact i just want to pray and speak over it for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare all these communion sets that you are lifting in the name of Jesus they are blessed as you take them with understanding they will no longer be ordinary bread and wafers 
but they will represent the power of God at work in your body. Let there be healing for you. Let there be total restoration. There will be tearsome testimonies as a result of this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Very quickly, let me make the altar call. Our time is gone. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, even though it's time, I need Jesus. It is true that I prayed. It is true that I shouted amen. It is true that I fell under the anointing. We have just a minute for this and we're done. Thank you so much for your patience. I cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus. We have just one minute for you. You are saying, Apostle, I truly want to make it right with Jesus. Or you are saying, Apostle, my life has gone haywire. I need the grace of God. I need restoration. Wherever you are, please leave your seat and come and stand right here. I know that our time is gone. Let's clap for them as they come. Even if it is one person, I know that someone needs to come to Jesus. Don't be in a hurry going that you miss salvation. Jesus is calling you. Koinonia, celebrate them. They are coming to Jesus. All the overflows, walk to your projector screen, walk to your LEDs. Those who are in here, keep coming. Run to Jesus. We have one minute for you, but please run to Jesus. He wants to give you a new beginning. This is what happens when we come to the house of God. Hallelujah. Are you coming? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Please, if you're coming, come and stand as I lead you in this prayer. My God, look at these little children. Let's give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you for making this bold decision. Can you lift your right hand high above your head? Those who are coming to join them, join them very quickly. Say this loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I declare that I reign forever. From today and forever, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of Jesus, declared righteous by redemption in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for these ones. You have brought them out by your spirit. I declare that the grace that keeps will keep them. The grace that lifts will lift them. I declare that you begin a new walk. I commend you to the Holy Spirit and to the word. You will begin a new journey with God. A journey that will only be from one victory to the other. Be blessed in Jesus name I pray. Thank you very much for making this bold decision. May I request that you quickly move and join the counselors. Move to my right which is your left. Let's celebrate them as they go. They will have a word with you very quickly. And then you will return. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.